Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. If we have b multiplied by b multiplied by b minus b multiplied by b is equals to 18 and we solve this problem for the values of b. So here first you see that uh, our b is multiplied by 3 times so we write this term as b cubed minus here you see that b is multiplied by two times we write it as b square and this whole equation equals to 18 and now here in the right hand side we need to focus on 18 and we break this 18 as in this form first you have b cubed minus b squared equals to we write this 18 as 27 minus 9 okay we write 27 minus 9 becomes here 18 and here in the next step uh, we write uh, the terms in the right hand side into the prime factors form we know that prime factors of 27 are 3 cubed and prime factors of 9 are 3 square so uh, here we need to make the pair of cubic term with cubic term and we make the pair of square term with square term so in the left hand side we have cubic term is b cubed and in the right hand side we have cubic term is 3 cubed when you move this into the left hand side it will becomes 3 cubed minus 3 cubed and here you have this is minus b square and this will becomes plus 3 square and this whole equation equals to 0 and now here in the next step first we need to take common a negative sign from this value so it will be written as b cubed minus 3 cubed and here we take common minus sign and it will be written as b square minus 3 square and this whole equation equals to 0 and now here in the next step we need to apply here uh, the cubic formula into the first factor and we apply the square formula into the second factor so in the first factor we apply this formula if you have x cubed minus y cubed it is equals to x minus y times of x square plus xy plus y square and into the second factor we apply here this formula x square minus y square equals to x minus y times of x plus y so according to this formula uh, here in in the first factor uh, we apply the cubic formula and in the second factor we apply the square identity okay so uh, our first factor is written as after applying this formula first we have x minus y here our base of this term is our x and the base of this term is our y so it will be written as first we have x minus y our x is b minus our y is 3 into uh, again we have x square so x is b so b square plus x y x is b and y is 3 and plus y square so y is 3 square and minus uh, here in the second factor we apply the second identity so this will be written as b minus 3 times of b plus 3 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now you need to focus on both of these terms and you see here b minus 3 be the common term so that we take common b minus 3 from both of these values and we get the remaining values are here we get b square plus this is 3b and plus this 3 square becomes 9 and here we get a minus times of b plus 3 so when you multiply this minus sign on both of these values it will becomes minus b minus 3 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now here we need uh, some simplifications and we will add or subtract the like terms so we have this is b square and 3b minus b equals to 2b and 9 minus 3 equals to 6 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now here in the next step we need to divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write b minus 3 equals to 0 and the second case is we write b square plus 2b plus 6 equals to 0 so from first equation we easily get the value of b equals to 3 this is the first uh, root of the given equation and now here in order to find the other roots we need to solve this quadratic equation uh, so uh, in order to solve this equation uh, we need to apply here the nice quadratic formula so in order to applying the quadratic formula first we need to write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are uh, 
uh, we can write coefficients into the capital form uh, so we have capital a is equals to one capital b is equals to two and capital c is equals to six and we state the quadratic formula as uh, b is equals to minus p so this is minus capital b and plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of a and c and it is divided by 2 times of a so this is the, our quadratic formula and now in the next step we need to put the values of uh, a b and c here so it will be written as b is equals to this is minus b the value of p is 2 so it will becomes minus 2 plus minus square root of b square b is 2 square minus 4 times of a is 1 c is 6 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 and now here in the next step we need to simplify the terms and we have b is equals to this is minus 2 plus minus square root of uh, this is 2 square equals to 4 minus here we have 4 times of 6 and it is divided by 2 and now here uh, in the next step uh, you see that inside the square root sign we have 4 be the common term so we will get here minus 2 plus minus uh, square root of uh, this is 4 times of here you get 1 minus 6 and it is divided by 2 and now here in the next step uh, we need more simplifications here and it will be written as uh, b is equals to this is minus 2 plus minus here we know that the square root of 4 is equals to 2 into square root of 1 minus 6 equals to minus 5 and it is divided by 2 and now uh, you see here uh, in the next step uh, the negative sign appears inside the square root so it will be written as iota so we write it as minus 2 plus minus 2 times of uh, square root of 5 into iota and it is divided by 2 and now here in the next step we need to break this fraction uh, so that when we break this fraction it will be written as minus 2 over 2 plus minus this is 2 times of square root of 5 into iota and it is divided by 2 and you see here this 2 and this 2 are cancelled out by each other and we get b is equals to minus 1 plus minus this 2 and this 2 are also cancelled out by each other and we get square root of 5 into iota so these are the other two complex roots of the given equation and finally we have the three roots of the given equation are these are the two complex roots and b equals to 3 be the one real root of the given equation so this is our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos